So hopefully you've had a few minutes to explore this code and see how all the control uh, moves from piece to piece, right? You'll notice that when the green flag is pressed that the stage manager uh, broadcasts open, and which, which plays the title sequence uh, with the title card, and then at the end of playing that for five seconds, scene one gets broadcast, and so we switch to the right backdrop, and Harry and Luna each listen for scene one, and when they see scene one, they show themselves and they play the scene out and Luna's the last line in scene one. So down here at the bottom of scene one, when she's all done, she broadcasts scene two, which of course starts her uh, playing her lines and then Harry playing his line. And the stage manager gets stage two and he changes the backdrop and, and, and does this lights blinking and all of that. And so, you know, we've got this coordination that goes back and forth here. And so what I like to do when I first introduce all of this storytelling to my students is introduce this story exactly like this and say, this isn't a bad story, but it's still pretty basic, right? You can make this better. And so rather than having them start from a complete new original idea with no characters and no stage or anything, I give them this, this framework. I say, start with Harry Potter here and add a new scene into this. Right? Maybe you want to get it here so that um, after this dance scene here, after scene two, we add in scene three. Right? Maybe there's a scene three that comes where after the dance, Harry's going back to uh, the Gryffindor common room and he runs into Ron and they talk about uh, what happened at the dance. Or maybe right here in the middle of this uh, scene two, you actually have Dumbledore come in, and, or, or, or Dumbledore or, or Voldemort or somebody. Right? And so you'll notice that I've actually given you some characters here that you can play with and my students can play with this. And so we might actually add in here to, to Voldemort when I receive scene two, uh, you know, wait 15 seconds so these guys start to talk about what a good time they're having and then show up and, and have a, a big wizard duel. So we might, we might add in something like that. And what I'd like you to do right now is exactly that. I'd like you to come up with a new idea for this. Add in uh, a, a wizard's duel. Add in a scene three. Just add, do something to sort of figure out how you extend this story. And I'll show you one little thing that's, that's been built into this code that actually will help you with that. If you notice the problem with this code right now is that when I run this, I have to sit through five seconds of the title sequence, right? That's what this code said, wait five seconds. And now we listen to scene one while they uh, invite each other out here. But, but I really want to have uh, Voldemort show up and start to, to have a wizarding duel in a little bit. And I don't want to have to go through all of scene one to get that. Well, notice here that when I, when I built this code, uh, when the green flag is pressed, I broadcast what happens. And so I can go to the opening title sequence, but if I want to skip all the way to scene two, where they're at the dance, I can temporarily override that. I can say, you know, skip the first couple of scenes, guys. When I say action, jump immediately to scene two. And so we can see this is fun. It was great going with you and she goes back and forth. And my Voldemort probably didn't come in soon enough in what I was just tweaking. I have him come in after 15 seconds. And so we still have to sort of wait a little bit and get this. And there's Voldemort, he showed up at 15 seconds. And that's, I didn't have him doing very much, but that's the way that you can, if you're adding a scene three or adding you know, stuff, you can temporarily skip over everything. And when you're ready to go back to watching the whole movie, you're gonna turn back to when the green flag is pressed, send the broadcast about the opening. And now, boom, Harry Potter and the Yuletide Ball. As I've gotten in the habit of doing with all of these tasks, before you move on, please take the time to complete this task uh, by going and completing the task as defined. Again, while we won't collect this, uh, I really feel that the process of completing these tasks, even as an uncollected assignment, is very, very beneficial. And it will, the time you spend on this now will actually come back to help you when you complete the homework assignment we'll make in the next lesson.